Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the Audi e-tron 50 Sportback on a 22 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of it first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll notice we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera, loads of boot space, which you can increase further should you wish to by folding down any or all of the three seats you see there. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in, and as I said, run through some of the controls on the inside of it. Uh, now that we've done a full circle though, firstly, you can see the alloy wheels are all in great condition, as is the bodywork the entire way around the vehicle. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the right-hand side, first of all, we have the speedometer. On the left-hand uh, side, you'll see how much of the power uh, you are using at any given time. In the centre, the total miles of this car, which are 9,938. And we then have the trip computer above that. Uh, there are various different menus available within the trip computer, all of which are accessed using the buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel just here. We have our cruise control there as well. Uh, as we back out, you can see phone and stereo controls, the minus and plus paddle, so you can change gear manually uh, with this automatic gearbox. And then over into the centre, the main touch screen for the car. Uh, so you can get to the home screen from there. Uh, and then on the home screen, you can see the clearly labelled menus. For example, your satellite navigation, uh, which is very easy to use. Uh, the screen, incidentally, is touch screen, as you can see, but it also gives you a really nice haptic feedback so it feels like you're actually pressing buttons as well uh, we have our ability to pair our phone of course media is where you will listen to your own music in the car uh, there's a number of ways of doing that and you can see those showing on the screen now and you can access the radio of course uh, and again up in this corner here uh, we have DAB and FM radio available to us uh, this car also has a full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction it's headed in, in relation to the image that's being shown on the screen there. Below that, we have our second screen for the car. Uh, so on here, we have our dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed from there. Uh, you can, uh, down the bottom here, turn the air conditioning to eco, off or on again. Uh, you can hit auto if you wish to. The car will now take complete control, as you can hear and see, to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Any manual adjustment that you make will override that straight away and allow you to put it back on your own manual settings for both driver and passenger. Uh, down in the bottom corners, uh, we have heated driver and passenger seats available. You can change the drive select of this car so you can put it into uh, different modes depending on the type of driving that you're going to be doing. We can turn off our traction control as well. Uh, down here you've got the button that will start and stop the vehicle. We have uh, the camera operation just here. So uh, we have, uh, as you saw, a reversing camera. Uh, this car also has front view. So you've got your reversing camera or front view showing at the moment. Uh, if I pop the vehicle into reverse, we then have the reverse camera there as well. And then lastly, the gear selector for this vehicle. It'll show you what gear you are in. So park is that button on the end. Otherwise, it's very easy. Reverse, neutral, drive, and then park again. The last thing I want to run through is the paperwork we have for the car. So you can see the V5 registration document showing this is a two-owner vehicle. Uh, the key you're looking at there is the spare key for this car. So we have two keys in total. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video walk around of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.